Greetings minions and welcome to my vlog. Today we are celebrating 500 <laughs> subscribers. You guys are amazing and thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It means the world to me that so many of you are, are listening to me and watching me and it doesn't put any pressure on me at all. No pressure. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're here and I'm glad that you're tuning in and, and watching and, and asking questions and stuff like that because, you know, this is as much your channel as it is mine and I'm really excited that we can do this together. So thank you for the 500 and, and plus now subscribers. I'm so excited about it. Um, as you know, uh, one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm giving away a Vladimir Todd hoodie from the cover of 8th Grade Bites. And what the deal is, is this, okay? You come, bring a friend to my channel. Each of you comments, somebody that hasn't subscribed. Each of you subscribes, each of you comments with the other person's name, and then you're both entered to win the hoodie. The contest ends November 30th. So if you have not had a friend come in, then do that because you know what? Let's say it's a friend of yours that doesn't want the hoodie. Then you got two entries to get the hoodie. So uh, somebody actually asked me if they could bring multiple people in. And I thought about it. And initially I wasn't going to do that. But I thought about it. And yeah, you know, if you've got like five friends, you've got ten friends, you've got a million friends, bring them over. Have them say your name. You say each of their names. And all of those will be entries too. So watch out because November 30th is coming really, really quick. But that's not what we're talking about today. First... I did promise you guys on uh, Instagram and on Twitter that I would be announcing a small contest today because I'm so excited about the 500 subscribers and I feel like I should be doing something to celebrate. So today I'm going to give away, well, not I'm not going to give it away today. You, you have to do something. I can't just give you stuff. So here's what we're going to do. All you have to do is comment below and tell me what it is that you want to read. The, your favorite aspects of, of books, your favorite genre, your favorite the author, whatever it is. Just comment on what it is you love to read or want to read. And then you're in it. Just on this video's thread, okay? So what the winner is going to get though at uh, probably a couple of days until I post my next video. But the winner is going to get a $10 gift card to Starbucks. Now as you know, I mean probably if you know me. Starbucks is the fuel that writes these books. I mean, pretty much Fang, you know, my kitty Fang, pretty much he writes the books, but I drink a lot of Starbucks and encourage him. So very, very cool. Very, very important. So, you know, enter, do the thing below here because I'd love to give it away to you guys. Um, I was going to discuss world building today because I have a pretty extensive uh, thoughts on it and I have all these notes about it and everything. But uh, today I just want to do the quick one instead of of 500 subscribers are not quick. I don't know. I might ramble a bit. Uh, today I'll do that and then we'll get to world building next time because that's going to take some time to put it together because I have a lot of thoughts on it and there are a lot of different approaches and I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. So that's something else. If you want to ask me any questions about world building that I can incorpor incorporate into the next video, please just leave them below and I will try to get to all of them so that we can really have a conversation about writing because I know you guys are curious about my approach to things and I have a lot of opinions and a lot of insight. I certainly don't know everything, but I can, I feel like I can help you. I hope I can help you. And if I don't help you, I hope I can entertain you. So um, today, I pretty much just want to talk about the Minion Horde. Um, a long time ago, the year 2007, I got my agent in 2005. In the year 2007, I had started a blog on my website at the time. And I started it and I was just basically talking into the void. You know, nobody had any idea who I was. If I was even a writer or an author, nobody knew who I was. And I was so excited. So I started this before 2007 because it was before the book was actually sold. And I'll never forget the day I had a response from Minions. Out of the blue, I had said, because my name at the time was Heather Brewer. So out of the blue, I had said on the, on the blog, you know, gather round minions, uh, Auntie Heather has something to tell you. And it was the day I was going to tell my readers, whoever they were, <laughs> I was going to tell them about how I got uh, an agent or a book deal. It was something big like that. It was one of those two big things. And so I said it and it really kind of freaked me out because people started responding. And then I realized that 
you guys were listening and you were reading and then it started getting bigger and bigger and I started referring to you as the minion horde just collectively and it became this thing it became this movement really if you've been with me if you're a first gen minion you know and you've been with me since eighth grade bites came out then you you saw it so you understand what I mean but the minion horde became so much more than just a fandom which I'm a huge huge supporter of fandoms I'm a member of several fandoms so it's, it's really really cool to be a part of them but the minion horde became something else the minion horde became this this movement for people that were on the edge for, for people that were on the fringe that weren't quite fitting in with the rest of society, that, that felt like outcasts. It became this cool group of outcasts and we came together and, and talked about bullying and talked about all these dark things that we loved and bonded really together as a family. And so I may be like the supreme overlord of all of you minions, but I tell you what, I do count you as family and I really wanna thank you because as much as so many of you had told me that I have changed your life, You've changed mine. I get all emotional. I would not be here without the minions and I would not be doing what it is that I love to do. So thank you so much. It means the world to me that you guys listen, that you read, that you laugh along with me and that when I put you in a box on Twitter that you stay in the box. Yeah, it's a thing. If you don't follow me on Twitter, at but you can call me Z, come over there because I frequently stick minions in boxes and feed them pixie sticks. It's kind of what I do. I mean, that and red books, you know. Ah, stop with the emotions. Oh my God. You're going to lose your cool, uh, uh, I don't have a cool anything. Nah, whatever. So um, don't forget to leave your comment below. And don't forget to drag everyone you know over here to subscribe because it's really, really amazing. And I mean, I'm, I'm thrilled that so many of you are subscribed. And the idea that more might want to and might be interested is really, really awesome and really, really cool. Um, I want to leave you with a little bit of something. Two things. One, <gasps> Alonzo, I love you so much. Look at Alonzo, I love you, minions. You see, I love you, minions. He's like, get off. <laughs> and two, I want to read you my favorite paragraph ever. This is like in any book I've ever written, in any short story I've ever written. My favorite is from Eight Gray Bites, okay? And the reason I read this paragraph is because to me, <laughs> this is part of breaking rules. If you're writing, you have to know the rules in order to know when and how to break them. And one of the rules they tell you is don't have a list of things. Don't have a run on sentence. Don't do that because that's a rule and we don't break rules. Except um, we do. So my favorite paragraph. Mr. Craig was dead. Deceased, croaked, departed, shuffled off his mortal coil, bought the farm, slain, fallen, bit the big one, dead as a doornail, gone, out of business, late, lifeless, taken a dirt nap, could put worm food, crashed in his chips, finished, lapsed, pushing up daisies, terminated, inanimate, kicked the bucket, passed his expiration date, non-living, checked out, left the building, bit in the dust, passed away, passed on, isn't coming back for the sequel, dead. And that is how you break rules. Now, Get out there, break some rules. Don't don't, don't break any laws. And if, if if you break laws, don't don't tell people I said to do it. Just break the rules, not the laws, which are pretty much rules. Hmm. I think I just told you all to break the law. Oh, I am not a good influence. Anyway, people in Z out for now, guys. I will see you next time. Don't forget to enter your contest and don't forget to leave your questions for me regarding world building, okay? And more than anything, don't forget that I love you. <laughs>